My name is Esmeralda Ramirez. I'm not a sports player. <laughs> That's never been my thing. My coordination is awful. But I do run the Jackson house. My name is Janie Smith. Ultimately, I'm responsible for all the volunteers. When she was younger, her sister would come and do some things for us, and she would tag along sometimes. At just one day, she's like, hey, you want to come along with me? My family has always pushed helping others and their community upon us, and so I was like, okay, I'll go with you, because soon enough, I'll have to get started, too. I was raised in a family, in total we're seven. I have four sisters, and of course, my two parents. Uh, there have always been awesome aspirations in our life. So we grew up in a home where giving back to others is more important. As typical kids are, she really wanted to be busy. She didn't want to just sit and wait. So she started doing things, helping her sister. And then as she became to, you know, when she started to understand what we were doing, then she very quickly wanted to help with that. Besides being very organized, she's very compassionate. You know, they say the youth is going to be who this world is going to become at one point. And so we represent them. And I just feel like we should be more involved. And the more involved you are, the more of the perspective you'll get about the whole world. So. This stuff for this one. I need some, uh, two more, three more cans of this. Volunteering is something that needs to come from the heart. And that's a big part of who you are and how you show people what, like how you were raised and what you believe that. I could see that she was kind of older um, mentally than her actual years. She was very responsible, very dedicated. She wanted to come in and head up the Saturday lunch program. And so I let her do that. Hi, I'm Esmeralda and I'm a 16 year old boss. I usually do weekends or like spring break, Christmas break, Thanksgiving break. I'll be here around 9, turn on the ovens, get it out. It'll be between 9 and 10. It just varies on like what I have to cook or what I have to prepare. Of course, Saturdays are the busiest days usually for me, which I'm a teenager. So of course I'm wanting to go do all this stuff. You have to set priorities straight and helping those that need it most is a priority. She doesn't just say, well, I'm, we can't do it today and walk away. She makes phone calls and she gets people here and she works really hard to make sure that the services of the lunch is delivered. Usually a small group will stick them in the kitchen. It's easier and it's fun and you know, it's more hands-on and you get to see things from the window, especially when you're serving. But the larger groups, I'll put a portion in the kitchen, a portion either um, packaging rice and beans. She's so very good at it, and she does such a good job, and she's so responsible. It was like, there's this little girl telling me, a 17-year-old, what to do. I'm just like, watch me, yeah. watch me. It was kind of difficult, and it took me some courage to stand up and say, hey, you know what? You come here to volunteer, you come here to help, and it's appreciated, but I would like you to listen to me. He's been coming to Jackson House for the longest of time, and he'll be like, don't forget to do this, don't forget to do that, and I see that these people find ways to help others, and they have the most kindest hearts. You just need to realize how good you helping others can benefit them. Sometimes you, you whine because you don't have something or complain because you want something and you can't get it. I do that all the time. I sit at that window, hand out lunches. I see how many kind hearts there is and how humble they are and how they see the greatness in just a sandwich and a cup of soup. Volunteering is such a great thing and you really don't recognize that until you're involved with it. Coming in to any place 
like Jackson House would be so appreciated because they don't realize how much they're helping these people that have no way of getting food other than here. You don't have to share it to the world and say, oh yeah, I volunteer there. Oh yeah, I volunteer there. No, that's not the point. The point is to be able to help those that need it most. Yeah. Look, 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 look. Hello there. It's memories that are gonna last a lifetime and help you grow as a person and help you understand. This is you folks and all y'all. Thank y'all for what y'all do. You know? Help others and blessings will come your way.